V finally addresses the rumors of him being depressed. BTS had to change their plans. V causes competing company to panic, and more BTS news. The recent period has been challenging for armies as they have observed each member of BTS joining the military. However, the journey to this point could have unfolded differently, as revealed in BTS's latest documentary, BTS Monuments Beyond the Star. The series, which has captivated armies with its exclusive content, shed light on the group's plans during its final episode. Shuga, in a segment from this last episode, discussed the band's enlistment strategy. This conversation was held before any member had publicly committed to military service. Shuga disclosed that originally, BTS intended to go on a hiatus from November 20th Uitarsi, a plan significantly altered by the pandemic's unforeseen longevity. Post their on tour, Suga was scheduled to enlist in November 2020. These revelations, once posted online, left many fans astonished, pondering how different circumstances could have been. Fans also noted instances in past schedules hinting at these altered plans. Despite the current difficulties faced by fans with the members' enlistment, Suga's insights on the group's altered plans provided a sense of reassurance. Notably, several armies expressed that the pandemic period was when they discovered BTS. The music released during these challenging times offered them much needed solace. There's a shared sentiment among many armies that BTS's presence was pivotal during the pandemic. The thought of navigating that era without the band, had their hiatus taken place as initially planned, is unimaginable for many fans. In a heartfelt episode of the documentary series, BTS Monuments Beyond the Star, BTS member V shared his personal reflections and offered a rare glimpse into his home life. This series, known for chronicling the band's significant achievements and featuring exclusive interviews and behind-the-scenes content, provided fans with a deeper understanding of the members' experiences. During a home tour, V contrasted his experiences of living together with the BTS members and living alone. He expressed a mix of feelings about his current living situation, stating, should I say I'm bored? It was very lively when we were together. But now that I'm alone, I don't talk a lot. I do enjoy being alone, but I'm a bit bored. This candid admission highlighted the shift in his day-to-day -day life. Moreover, V opened it up about the evolution of his personality over time, a revelation that garnered both praise and support from netizens. His reflective nature and honesty struck a chord with many, Towards the end of the episode, V expressed heartfelt gratitude for his time with the other BTS members, acknowledging the impact they have had on his life. He said, I'm so glad that I met the other members. The more time I spent with the other members, the more I understood what it meant to be satisfied. I'm thankful that we remained seven for the past 10 years. This sentiment of appreciation and the significance of their bond resonated deeply with armies who expressed their gratitude for V and the entire group. Disney Plus recently unveiled an eight-part documentary titled BTS Monuments Beyond the Star, which premiered on December 20th. This docu-series, featuring the globally renowned group BTS, has been a treasure trove of the band's career highlights, incorporating exclusive interviews, unseen behind-the-scenes footage, and more. The series, culminating with its last two episodes, has sparked a buzz among armies. Fans have been captivated by the never-before-seen content ranging from candid backstage moments and personal tours of the members' homes to insights into their individual growth over the years. A particularly noteworthy aspect of the documentary was BTS member V's open discussion about his personal development. Joining the band at the age of 17, V has matured under the global spotlight as BTS ascended to international fame over the past decade. Known for his playful and humorous nature since debut, V's uniqueness and free-spirited attitude have always been highlighted by his bandmates. Jin humorously noted V's rebellious streak, while leader RM observed several positive changes in him as he matured. In BTS Monuments, Beyond the Star, V delved into the evolution of his behavior and personality. He spoke of discovering the beauty and fun of peace and quiet, reflecting on his earlier years when he felt he was too active playful, and too much of a jokester. He emphasized his current appreciation for solitude and the contentment he finds in being alone. V's introspective comments have garnered positive reactions from netizens, who have praised his mature perspective on his growth 
and his candidness about the natural shifts in his personality over time. The Circle Chart Music Awards 2023, held on January 10th at Busan's Bexco, celebrated a range of artists for their commercial successes in music from December 1st, 2022, to November 30th, 2023, as reflected on the Circle Charts. The awards saw a diverse group of recipients, from emerging talents to established names in the industry. BTS's Jungkook emerged as a standout winner, claiming the titles of Artist of the Year Global Streaming, Artist of the Year Digital, and Artist of the Year Physical Album. This triumphant moment positioned Jungkook as the first solo artist to achieve a triple crown at the Circle Chart Music Awards, a testament to his remarkable solo career. This achievement joins an already impressive list of accolades Jungkook has received as a solo artist, showcasing the breadth of his success. Fans, in a forum post dedicated to discussing this feat, expressed their admiration and praise for Jungkook, the youngest member of BTS, acknowledging his immense talent and influence in the music industry. The recent episode of BTS Monuments Beyond the Star offered fans a unique and personal insight into BTS member V's life, as he provided an exclusive tour of his home. Viewers had the opportunity to see the entire layout of his house, including areas like the living room and kitchen. During the tour, V shared his experiences of living in the BTS dorm compared to his current solitary residence. V finds enjoyment in his solo living arrangement. He spends leisure time engaging in favorite activities such as playing video games in the living room or listening to music on his record player. V's home is a reflection of his personal taste, filled with hobbies and art that showcase his unique style. He revealed, I did the interior design myself. I studied interior design for about six months. The space is adorned with art pieces and collectibles that resonate with his aesthetic. He further explained, I came up with a design for some of these, drew them out, and asked someone to make them. This hands-on approach to home decoration has resulted in a space that perfectly aligns with V's preferences. He acknowledges the uniqueness of his design choices, stating, So I tried my hand at decorating this place, but it's set to my preference, so it might not be to everyone's taste. This episode allowed fans to appreciate V's creativity and individuality in a new light. HYBE, the agency representing BTS, recently addressed a significant issue with the camp, an app designed for sending letters to military personnel. HYBE's concern was the unauthorized use of BTS members' names and images on the platform. As all BTS members are currently fulfilling their mandatory military service, HYBE was vigilant in protecting their rights. A statement from HYBE to Yonhap News Agency clarified, the company sent a statement to the camp's operator noting that the camp violated publicity rights such as using the band's name without the consent of both the band and the agency. The camp had created separate communities within the app for individual BTS members like Jin, J-Hope, and RM. These communities not only used the members' names, but also terms like official, potentially misleading fans into believing these were agency-sanctioned communication channels. HYBE highlighted that BTS already has an established fan community platform on Weverse, emphasizing that the communities on the camp are not official. Following HYBE's intervention, the camp removed references to the band's name and the word official from its communities, including a disclaimer stating, this is not Big Hit Music's official account. Additionally, the Camp Mall, the app's commerce platform, was selling dolls with the members' real names on their badges for 56,000 won, about $42. After HYBE pointed out that this constituted a violation of the members' personality rights, the camp promptly removed the dolls and related BTS posts from its platform. HYBE has expressed its intent to enhance its monitoring systems and take decisive action against any violations of its publicity rights, ensuring the members' rights and images are protected during their military service. In the recent episode of the BTS documentary series, Jungkook candidly shared insights into his journey from humble beginnings to remarkable success. Reflecting on his early life in a modest apartment in Busan, Jungkook recounted the struggles and sacrifices he and his fellow BTS members faced during their trainee days and initial debut. Despite these challenges, Jungkook emphasized his gratitude for the dramatic changes in his life following BTS's meteoric rise to global fame. Jungkook expressed awe at the transformation in his lifestyle, including purchasing his own house. Often finding the extent of the change surreal, he shared, it doesn't feel real sometimes. The latest episode, titled Promise for Tomorrow, delved deeper into these personal anecdotes.
evoking a range of emotions in fans. Jonggug's reflection on his past, comparing it to his current life, particularly moved viewers. During an interview segment in the documentary, while having a meal, he mused, I occasionally have sudden thoughts about how or why I'm like this right now. I wonder how I've gotten here. I used to live in a place called Ildong Apartments back in Mandiok, Busan. I would compare my life now to what it was back then and think, is this right? Am I really living here? He further recalled the difficult living conditions during BTS's early years, including cramped spaces and unbearable heat. These revelations resonated deeply with fans, who admired Jungkook's humility and his ability to stay grounded despite his fame. His acknowledgement of his roots and the hardships he endured at a young age not only increased fans' respect for him, but also heightened their sense of empathy. Supporters of the idol feel that his current success, marked by widespread acclaim in the music industry, is a well-deserved reward for his dedication and perseverance from a young age. As the BTS docuseries, BTS Monuments Beyond the Star on Disney+, Plus, concluded with its final episodes seven and eight, fans experienced a surge of emotions. The episodes, released on Wednesday, January 10th, marked the end of an insightful journey into the lives and struggles of the Septet over their 10-year musical career. The series not only highlighted their journey, but also featured their spectacular performances, emphasizing their global impact. The final episodes, especially Promise for Tomorrow, shed light on the members' future plans post-military service and their enduring bond. In this episode, V, age 28, emphasized the importance of BTS's safe return to continue creating memories with armies. His words were interspersed with visuals of Jin getting his pre-enlistment buzz cut, symbolizing the beginning of a new chapter. V's vision for a take-two of BTS resonated deeply with fans, sparking discussions on social media. In Still Purple and Promise for Tomorrow, the members opened up about their personal lives, inspirations, and future aspirations. The episodes also revisited some of their iconic performances at venues like the Rose Bowl Stadium and the Olympics Gymnastics Arena. Adding to the conversation, V emphasized the need for the group to organize their thoughts for an improved return. He stated, I think it's now time for us to organize our thoughts in order to come back with a better image and performance. We're not saying that we're done. We're just saying we've worked really hard and we'll need some time in order to come back with better image and performance. As the documentary series concluded, V, also known for his song Slow Dancing, expressed his gratitude for the group's unity over the past decade. I'm thankful that we remained seven for the past 10 years. The ending left fans in a whirlwind of emotions filled with hope for the future as the members serve their 18-month mandatory military service in South Korea. Amid these developments, V continues to achieve new heights, recently winning the Best Male Entertainment Idol of the Year Award at the 2024 Korea First Brand Awards. His collaborative track with UMI, Wherever You Are, also achieved international success, reaching War One on iTunes in 100 countries. Fans eagerly await the future endeavors of BTS's V as he and the group forge ahead in their careers. Ferris recently made a significant impact in the coffee industry. On December 20th, it was reported by News One that V had been named the ambassador for Compose Coffee, one of South Korea's largest coffee chains. Following this announcement, Money Today reported that Edia Coffee, a first-generation coffee chain, is experiencing a downturn. In response to the growing competition from more affordable coffee chains like Compose Coffee, Edia Coffee convened an emergency meeting on January 8th. The company's chairman, Moon Chang Ki, is actively seeking strategies to revitalize the brand and expand globally. Amidst stiff competition from rivals such as Mega MGC Coffee and Compose Coffee, fans have been quick to attribute the challenges faced by these competing brands to V's influence as Compose Coffee's new ambassador. This sentiment has been widely shared on social media, highlighting the strong market impact associated with V's endorsement. Since V became the face of Compose Coffee, the brand has experienced a significant increase in franchise numbers, growing over three times. This growth is credited to Compose Coffee's cost-effective strategies and aggressive marketing efforts, which have been bolstered by V's ambassadorship. The impact of V's endorsement was further evidenced when Citron Tea started running out of stock in South Korean coffee shops. This trend was linked to V's public fondness for the beverage, 
as mentioned in his song, Layover. The news of this shortage reached international fans, who also shared their admiration for V's widespread popularity. With the launch of Compose Coffee's latest campaign featuring V, and the slogan, Everyone is a Composer, there has been growing anticipation among international fans for the brand's expansion outside of South Korea. This sentiment was fueled by a report from News One on December 21st, which stated that, Compose Coffee is planning to extend its franchise operations to the international market within the year. Fans of BTS and V are eagerly watching the brand's next moves, as V continues to demonstrate his considerable influence across various industries. In a recent episode of the documentary series, BTS Monuments Beyond the Star, BTS's youngest member Jungkook shared his reflections on his groundbreaking performance at the opening of the 2023 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Jungkook, alongside Qatari singer and record producer Fahad al Kubaisi, delivered an electrifying rendition of his solo song, Dreamers. This performance not only captivated audiences worldwide, but also marked Jungkook as the first K-pop act to perform at the FIFA World Cup. Reflecting on this momentous occasion, Jungkook expressed his awe at the scale of the event. He commented, It's my first time. I didn't expect my first solo performance to be this big. There were about 60,000 people, and I think we had about 70 dancers. Someone said there were more than 70. I just want to live a wonderful life regardless of how popular I am or how much money I've got. I want to create things like videos, art, or photography together with my people. It's another challenge in a way. I'll have to rise to the occasion alone. Despite his solo ventures, Jungkook emphasized his unwavering commitment to BTS, stating, I'm not letting go of BTS though. Of course, BTS would come first. If there comes a time to gather together as a team again, I'll return immediately. This statement has been met with admiration and support from fans who appreciated both his stellar solo performance and his loyalty to the group. Jungkook's segment was particularly notable as he discussed his evolution as a solo artist. Prior to releasing his official solo debut, single Seven, Feet, Lato in July, Jungkook had already showcased his talent as a solo artist at the FIFA World Cup. His performance there was not just a testament to his vocal and dance skills, but also a significant milestone in his career. Jungkook's candid discussion about his future, including his desire to work with his bandmates again, has touched the hearts of many BTS armies. His remarks have sparked a wave of emotional responses from fans, who continue to support both his individual achievements and his role within the group. A notable moment from the latest episodes of the BTS documentary series, Monuments Beyond the Star, has captured the attention of fans on social media. In this segment, BTS member V, addressed and dispelled any rumors regarding his mental health, particularly about being depressed. He shared his contentment with his current state of mind, where he finds solace in silence. In the clip that went viral, V delved into his personal growth, contrasting his earlier, more extroverted self with his current preference for peace and quiet. He explained, these days I'm happy when I'm not doing anything. I was too active, playful, and too much a jokester when I was young. But after realizing the beauty and fun of the peace and quiet, I've come to really appreciate it. He also talked about his transition from being talkative to enjoying his own company, stating, But as someone who's always done the talking, I don't talk anymore. I'm happy that I don't have to talk. So right now, I would say that I'm happy being alone. It helps me feel like I'm actually taking a break. SDH? Small but definite happiness. SDH. That's my SDH. Fans quickly resonated with V's reflections, understanding that as people age, they often seek more solitude and relish their own company. His comments, especially coming from the singer, reassured fans and quashed any unfounded rumors of him being unhappy or depressed. Followers of the artist expressed that his quieter demeanor is a sign of maturity, not a change in his fundamental character. They acknowledged that this is a natural part of growing up where individuals start to appreciate peace and quiet over constant noise and activity.